we're only going to focus on one platform. But from the beginning, you should know that there are a number of other websites that you can use. One very used is unjobs.org, Swiss Association, not an official website of the UN. Here you will have UN jobs, but also other non-UN and international organizations. On the good side, it's almost everything in one place, but applying here will require profiles adapted for every specific organization, which means basically going on a website and spending hours to create a profile. This will help you find specific job sites for UN agencies and other organizations. You can index them and later on develop profiles and alerts and you can apply consistently. But this is not our focus. This is just to make it clear that using UN Careers platform is one step on which you can be. For instance, using this larger platform, unjobs.org, you can follow along and find jobs.undp.org for UNDP, Agency of UN, or irecruit.ilo.org, which is the uh, recruitment website of ILO, another UN institution. And in the same way, you can find NGOs and other inter international organizations. But first, I would suggest to focus on UN careers platform. Build a strong profile here and use this for all the other platforms, with the necessary changes of course. Most of them only in format, but still necessary. The idea behind is that after you have a profile built as advised by human resources departments, you can apply the same logic and the same good practices and have a consistent approach. If in time you'll have more profiles, don't forget to update them with the same information. It sounds obvious, but I know examples of different dates in different CVs or personal history profiles as they are called in UN. Two other important platforms would be one maintained by UN, by a UN entity, the jobs.unicsc.org, and of course the UNV platform, which is also very useful for a young profession. Now, let's go back to our main point of interest. If you go to job openings, you will find here the available jobs for careers within UN. After you build your profile, you'll be able to use this for applications after minor changes, mostly in the cover letter. Next, we are going to see the actual job platform that powers careers.un.org we are going to Inspira. With this, we are going to work. Here we build the profile, here we see status of applications, here we can also get later on training. And this is also used by UN staff with different access credentials, of course, and for different functions. The recruiters are also using the same system to manage the recruitment process. So next, Inspira.